So a new blood test could reveal every virus you've ever had. Uh, so the creator of this blood test, Stephen Elledge of Harvard Medical School, uh, created this test that will scan your body for a thousand strains of viruses from 206 species for only $25. Uh, you might be wondering why you would want to know what viruses you've had in the past, but they're looking for a link between certain infections and cancer. So this is actually really, really yeah. important. Uh, so Elledge tested more than 500 young and old people in the U.S., Thailand, South Africa, and Peru. They found that on average, those people had been exposed to 10 virus species in their lives. Two of those tested had been exposed to as many as 84 virus species. Uh, so a lot of the time you do will have certain viruses in your body and they'll lay dormant and you won't necessarily see symptoms, but they can be connected to other diseases uh, and other infections that can show up later. This is pretty uh, crazy, I guess, in the medical world. I want to hear what you guys think about it. Sandra, make your point. Oh, yeah, bring on the future. I'm a big sci-fi <laughs> fan. Like, this is, this is the start of something big. No, this is great. I can't wait. I want the test right now. Okay. Like, do you have anyone in? Yeah, let's uh, call in the test. <laughs> Uh, Robbie, what's your point? Yeah, I think I think it's super cool. I think also the applications for this mm -hmm. are really, really interesting. You can find out maybe what viruses are more prevalent in what areas mm. and things like that and do a, a... You can track viruses now in a way that you wouldn't be able to before. Yeah. So I just... like, And also just like personally knowing like, how many viruses have I had? Like that, first of all, it's a little scary. I'd be like, <laughs> oh God, I could have died maybe. But like... <laughs> Uh, what a cool thing. What right. a cool thing to just know what your body's been through, I think. Right. So the way that it works currently is that you, when you want to see if you had a virus, you have to have a separate test for each specific virus. So this, for me, is amazing because it just kind of reduces all these obstacles there is to medicine. It makes it a lot more efficient. So I think that's uh, super beneficial. Um, but I want to know from you guys, if there was a blood test to reveal your best and worst traits, what would they be, Robbie? Um, okay, so I think my best trait would be uh, I can keep calm under pressure pretty mm. well. And so if I'm in like an emotional circumstance, I'm able to kind of just like let that hit me and then not react immediately mm -hmm. off of that. And I can kind of, you know, be empathetic towards the other person and be like, I see that you're angry and that's probably not because of me or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so I like that about myself. I think that's a very good trait of me. Um, my worst trait is my apathy. Mm. I can be very apathetic um, or just bored, I guess. Um, with, uh, you know, so I, I stop working on something mm -hmm. because I grow apathetic. I'm like, yeah, is it really that great anyway? No, I'll just sit here and watch Netflix instead of right. working on whatever I need to be working on. So I think that's my worst trait. That seems to sneak up on me as I end up getting really comfortable. Mm. So. Interesting. What about you, Sandra? Oh, man, it's a tough question, you know. I would say... Uh, Curiosity is my uh, probably going to be my best trait. Mm. I, I feel really proud of, of, of that and the passion that comes along with it. My worst trait would probably be my low self-confidence. Um, I would not expect that from you that. at all. I mean, like, it's not just like across the board low self-confidence, but like I have a, a long history of depression, and so just to sort of just kind of a, a there's a there's a bummer there's a little curled up sad version of me inside just uh -huh. sometimes it yeah. comes out and and sometimes it comes out and goes uh -huh. ah. <laughs> uh, yeah but that's a scary sad version if it's coming out <laughs> like that <laughs> I know I know uh, mine's definitely very similar to yours Robbie uh, for me I think I think they're almost the same I'm a very like empathetic and sensitive person so I think that makes me like a very good friend. Um, but I think that empathy and sensitivity can also be like a negative because you, I, I get, I'm very sensitive. Like I'm, I, I like talk a big talk, but I'm really sensitive. So I'll like go home and be like, oh, buddy. comments. Like, no, I know, it's the no, worst, why? it's the why? worst. <laughs> um, but I want to know from you guys, if there was a blood test to reveal your best and worst trait, what would it say? Let us know in the comments down below and we'll see you in the next one.